What is up here YouTube? Jigsaw0097 here again today. Sorry about the different environment. I'm actually on the road um, doing some doing some business. So um, just kind of wanted to make this video though because I read the news today that Riley Cooper is actually trying out for the Buccaneers. Now um, this isn't really Eagles related in a way because he didn't play for the doesn't play for the team anymore, but I just think it's funny that the Buccaneers are going after all of our wide receivers from back in the Chip Kelly, Andy Reid days. <laughs> so, um, yeah, apparently he's just on the, the rookie camp, so he's actually has to prove himself again, which is kind of weird considering um, he's already been in the league. He played for the Eagles for six years, so it's kind of crazy. Um, personally, I didn't think Riley Cooper was that bad. I mean, you... You probably heard me rant about him a couple times. I definitely didn't think he was like an elite receiver, and I have no clue why Chip Kelly um, used him the way he did. They they used him to block, which I thought was weird. I always thought Riley Cooper had more of like a tight end um, type build. And, of course, there's the video that um, everyone hates him for, which I won't go into. If you guys know about Riley Cooper, you already know about the video. Um, but... I definitely think that has played a role in why he is in this situation. Regardless of what anyone says, like the fact that that video ruined his reputation, this is why he didn't get picked up by a team after Philadelphia. And this is why he has to go through rookie um, rookie camp again with, with a bunch of rookies, which it's just bizarre. He basically has to prove himself from what I read. Um, he has to prove that he belongs on the Buccaneers, which is crazy. Like this kind of player, you would just expect them to sign him and give him some kind of like one year, two year prove it deal. But nope, they're gonna make him prove himself first. So um, yeah, that's kind of the that's kind of the where we stand. I think the Buccaneers guys, that's a team to look out for this year. Um, they're they're just kind of scary. They got Jameis Winston, Deshaun Jackson. Honestly, if they pick up Riley Cooper, that's three pretty good receivers. They got Mike Evans. So that they're one to watch because I'm looking at teams in the NFC right now because I think the Eagles are rising as well. Um, and I'm looking at teams in the NFC as a whole and just thinking to myself what teams are going to be viable come playoff time and what teams are not. And right now I think the Buccaneers is definitely building to be one of those teams. Last year, like us, they barely missed the playoffs. The Eagles did more than barely miss it, but I always like to think if, if just 50 50 or so more of those catches were caught would be in a different situation. You know, Carson Wentz can't catch his own passes, guys. Keep saying that, but everyone thinks Carson Wentz is a problem, and it's like, come on, guys. Anyway, that's, that's besides the point. So, yeah, this video was kind of just about Riley Cooper mostly, and then um, I just basically wanted to – talk about what I think real quick about the Eagles as a whole with with what we've now done in the draft this is going to be kind of um, I made my draft review but this is going to be kind of where I think the team stands before we actually go into the preseason and we got a while for that guys unfortunately but I can still kind of make this video early on just my thoughts about that so overall I think the Eagles addressed almost every single need they had guys um the biggest one I keep hearing ESPN, ESPN analysts bash on is Sidney Jones because he's injured. he's injured and they think now because he's been injured he's going to be injury prone for the rest of his career, which you never know. Um, I certainly don't think he'll be like a Jamal Charles where he's made of glass, but you never know. I mean, they are right. An injury like that is hard to come back from, so we'll have to see. It is definitely a high risk, high reward type deal but honestly like I said in my previous video Sidney Jones was a top 10 prospect before his injury so in my eyes the Eagles got him for a second round pick that's still a steal in my opinion um, he could be a star player in this league and the Eagles got him when every other team passed on him similar to Jalen Mills I think Jalen Mills is going to be another player that's just completely underrated and everything every team passed on him so I hope he I mean, from what I've seen already, he, he's pretty amazing. And next year, I just think he'll get better. So so there's that. The Eagles addressed the cornerback's um, position. They got Rochelle, Rasul Douglas as well, who was another freak of nature. I finally got to watch him, and that dude is fast, man. So that guy's two cornerbacks right there. That's going to help a ton. And then um, 
the the running back. I forget his name. We got a running back, basically undrafted free agent, which I didn't know that they did that until after I made the draft video. So we actually got two running backs technically. We got um, Pumphrey Jr. and then we got this this other guy. You guys can comment down below. Sorry, I don't have my like notes with me right now. I'm making this video on the fly, so I don't I don't really know his name right now. Forgive me, but um, if you guys know his name, comment down below. Let me know about him more because um, they're saying he's really good as well, and he was just went undrafted for whatever reason. You know, the Patriots, they always pick up players from undrafted waivers, and those players end up being superstars. So I'm, I'm not against that at all, Philly. You you go for the players that you think are good. Um, but, yeah, then um, we also got wide receivers, which we desperately needed. They're going to have to um, try out for the team as well. It looks like we have a huge wide receiver we have like an abundance of wide receivers now on this team. I think they said they had to cut three players this week because we were over the 90-man roster for like going into preseason. Obviously, they're going to have to trim that down to 53 eventually, but that's crazy that the Eagles were over. They're like really trying to like figure out this team right now, and it's it's nuts. So overall, yeah, they, they really addressed a lot of the team needs. And then with the acquisition of Alshon Jeffrey, Torrey Smith, um, we got Chris Long on defense. This is from the free agency. I just think that the Eagles have really uh, turned it around from last year. I don't think we're going to see the same Eagles as we did last year. Um, and, you know, when you have a coach like Chip Kelly for that long and he destroys the team, Jeffrey Lurie and Howie Roseman just let him destroy the team, it's going to obviously take some time to... Um, build back up to what they were and I just think the Eagles are doing a great job um, getting that going again they're they're definitely on track to be a contender in the NFC soon so that's great to see but again like like I said early in the video with the Riley Cooper news I think that the Buccaneers are one of those teams that's rising unfortunately the Dallas Cowboys because they have Dak Prescott now they might be a much more difficult opponent because we don't have to play Tony Romo anymore. We always laughed at Tony Romo because we knew he'd be injured or he just stunk and then the Cowboys would have to use some random quarterback, but that's not the case now, guys. Unfortunately, they have a legit quarterback now, so they're one to look at um in the NFC. Uh, let's see what else for the NFC. The Atlanta Falcons, who knows? I really think the Buccaneers are going to go ahead with that division now because they're kind of next in line. You had the Panthers who failed, and then you have now the Falcons who failed. They're probably going to have like a really off year now, and the Buccaneers will probably take that spot for the for the South. If we go to the East again, like I said, Eagles, Cowboys, the North, um, probably the Packers again. Who knows with the Vikings, though, guys? That's what's crazy about um, the NFC is the Vikings are actually getting good too. They have Sam Bradford, which he's not really a scrub, but they also got Dalvin Cook, who most Eagles fans wanted as their running back. So they might have replaced Adrian Peterson right there with that guy. So we'll have to see with the Vikings. And then as far as the West goes, um, let's see, it's probably the Seahawks. I mean, the Arizona Cardinals are going. The Rams, who knows, the Rams maybe. If Jared Goff actually shows up this year, maybe he won't look like such a bust. Um, but anyway, I think that's like the worst right now in the NFC, guys. We got to wor worry about like the Buccaneers, the Packers as usual, the Seahawks. I mean, the Cowboys, our whole division really. The Redskins might stink this year, but our whole division really. But anyway, guys, this video has been going on for far longer than I thought it would. Um, just to sum it up, I think that the Eagles are really, really doing a great job rebuilding. And then also Tampa Bay with this Riley Cooper, if he makes the team, that's not really a bad decision. And that's kind of why I wanted to make the video, just to keep you guys updated on what current and former Eagles are doing. So anyway, guys, um, what do you think about Riley Cooper joining the Buccaneers? Um, what do you think the Eagles stand in the NFC as a whole? Do you think that we can make and win in the playoffs this year? Um or do you think maybe we need a couple more years, maybe one more year to get some more draft picks and really build this team into what it needs to be? Um, whatever you guys think, comment down below. And if you like this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video or you dislike it, hit the like or dislike. 
And as always, guys, I want to thank you so much for checking out my stuff. And this has been Jigsaw0097, and I'll talk to you guys later.